Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World and I'm Deb Chanel. Get it? <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully you all have had a beautiful Wednesday evening, morning and afternoon. Okay, I'm just saying welcome to the house. Welcome to the crib. Sit down and let's talk a spell, okay? Especially when it's coming to what's trending out there in social media world, okay? What's trending out there on them hot streets in the entertainment field. But I definitely want to say thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Thank you for spending a little time with me over here at Deb Chanel's World, 48's World. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and let's grow together. But thank you for all your support. Now, why don't we get on into the story I'm trying to break out here on my channel. Now, I don't know if y'all heard or y'all seen or y'all watch posts of other people doing stories on Dr. Heavenly and Quad on Merit to Medicine. Yes, honey. If you've been watching the last two episodes of Merit to Medicine, and I apologize, uh, my TV was acting up and I had to call Comcast and I barely got the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, review out last, well, this past Sunday. But honey, my reception, my TV was playing, but with nothing coming out and it was affecting my downstairs TV as well. So I really don't know what happened, but we motored through. We got that one thing out with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I didn't get to watch the episode, I guess I might catch up on this uh, coming Sunday and watch the replay um, prior to the new one that's coming out, if they're going to air anyway uh, for that next episode. But yes, honey, I know it's been hitting those uh, radio, radio personality broadcast stations that does trending topics and whatnot. They sure been talking about Dr. Heavenly. Mm -hmm. Spilling the tea on Quad and possibly come and i did on did the uh we call it bumping booties and stuff <laughs> i've told y'all one time i told you a million if you don't want something told don't tell it okay don't even tell you who you think may be your closest best bud okay because they're nine times out of ten if y'all break up uh friendships or whatnot or Y'all angry with each other. People going to get to talking and they're going to be swearing other people to secrecy. And you know, this is not going to work. Once you tell somebody, they're going to tell somebody, they're going to tell somebody and then the whole world going to know, especially in the entertainment field. Now, I don't know. All this is allegedly. Yeah, I remember when uh, Dr. Hamlin had blurted out when they were at the beach scene that they were celebrating quads, little I don't know, forgive me not or forgive me, please, for forgetting about you last season when you were going through all your rough patches with your uh, ex-husband now or soon to be ex-husband. So they dedicated that night on the beach to Quad to like let her be queen of the night. And we're going to celebrate her. We're going to play the games and then we're going to, you know, pretty much go inside. <laughs> So basically, when they were sitting there playing, you know, the little games of who they would like to have sex with that's married, who would they like to marry, and this, that, that, you're playing that what if thing. And them too. Hannah, she told Dr. Heavenly, meaning Quad told Dr. Heavenly some personal uh, forget me nots pillow talk. Now, I don't know if it's true, but to me, how Quad coming out here, talking about, oh, she emphatically denied sleeping with Carmen. She just did it. It makes me think she did sleep with Carmen. And Carmen swore her to secrecy because the whole deal of Quad coming out, putting all this dissertation type of writing on her Instagram, Facebook, Twitter account. I don't know which one it was, but she had... Uh, from what I understand, she had put out a post on one of her social media platforms and she was just, you know, detailing Dr. Hamlin was lying on her. Her and Carmen never slept together because evidently Carmen is in a relationship with another female. And it might have hit too home and he was trying to do damage control. So he probably called up Quad, allegedly, and said, girl, why did you tell our business? That was pillow talk. That was us way back in the day. You know I got a girlfriend. I'm trying to 
you know, put a ring on and everything. You got me out here looking crazy because she don't even believe me. I'm like, why don't she believe you, honey, honey? Why don't she? Do, do you have infractions in your past that she probably already have forgiven? And now is something else coming up with your name on it of something or some things you shouldn't have been doing while you were in this relationship with her? Is, is this what you're trying to do? So you're trying to get Claude out there to go and be on her public platform and talk about this situation that Dr. Hamlin just running her mouth. She don't know what she was talking about, this, that, third. But honey, honey, when Dr. Hamlin was saying that, and I did catch that particular one. Uh, that episode when she said, "Oh, car set with Colin." <laughs> I'm like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, she didn't say that, Lord. No, she didn't say that." But she said that thing, and they were like, "Oh, Toy was the first one. You slept with Colin, girl. Why you keep that piece of tea from us, girl? How was it? You know, like, dang, because they ain't used to." Quad really lying on nobody except for Mariah because they go way back with the lies and the in the windows and the scenarios and this, that, and the thirds. And you know, we you had to be from Ground Street, meaning the first, second, third episode of the first season that had came out to see how Mariah rocked and how she was down like four flat ties for Quad and then as Quad started to get fame with the show and people being she's being a likable character on the show you know and people you know giving her her props she's building her fan base and everybody's tuning in just to see what Quad is doing you know that kind of got upsetting for some of the people on the cast but Yes, honey, Dr. Heaven has said, nah, honey. Quad well, got that little booty. <laughs> <laughs> Only Dr. Heavenly can deliver a story when you don't want her to deliver a story. Now, if you say anything about her husband, Damien, well, honey, she going to fight because she already said that she'll kill for the man. That's what she said on her own YouTube platform. She said that she's so down for Damien, her husband, she could kill for him if she needed to. And I think I typed something back on her um, platform when I had saw that um, YouTube video she had did. I said, honey, uh-uh, don't go to jail for no man. Don't be no fatal attraction for no man. If he wants to do something illegal or something that's going to possibly put him in jail, let him do all that. You don't be that stupid. Because if you believe in the Lord, the Lord don't want you to go out like that. He don't want you to take another life just because your husband don't want that life to be in uh, the proximity of his whereabouts or his environment anymore. But anyway, that's another story. But honey, baby. It's still out there piping hot because Urban Bell, uh, mag.com, don't got a hold of it. Yes, they have. And they just been, it's been circulating throughout the social media world. Okay, so if you're a part of social media, you sign up for some of these um, vlogging sites, you'll get the trending news sent to you via them because they do have that set up as well. But let's go on and get into this article that Urban Bell had put out on Miss Quad and Mrs. Uh, Kynes, Heavenly Kynes, honey. Um, don't really give who wrote it, so we're just going to say a, a staff writer, commentary journalist over there for UrbanBailMag.com. But they did title it for us, okay? They titled it, Married to Medicine Star Quad Webb Gives Dr. Heavenly Kynes a Warning. <laughs> Not a... Uh, what do you call it? Not like a, a what do you call it, a tap on the hand or whatever. They said, don't do that no more. You know, she said, uh-uh. You done been written up. Now we finna really say, if you do this again, you fired. Without anything being said, done, or any reprieve coming on, no, nope, you're just gonna be out my life, period. So let's go on and get into what they wrote up on Quad as well as Dr. Heavenly. It says Quad Webb wasn't too happy with Dr. Heavenly Kimes after she accused Quad of sleeping with Common. That's the artist. All right. Not the abbreviation. Uh, in fact, she felt like the accusations were harmful to her professional reputation. Heavenly would go on to clarify that she was just joking. Wink, wink. Yes, wink, wink. We know Dr. Heavenly wasn't joking, girl. Who you fooling? And if Common didn't want this type of press, press, Common don't want no press, he should have kept his little wiener out of Quad, right? Because Quad wouldn't have nothing to 
talk about with the girls, especially a girl or a lady woman that she thought she could trust to keep the secret. But of course, Dr. Heaven always opening up that mouth. And true to fact, we don't know what uh, she be saying is true or not. But with this incident, mm -mm, it was pretty much like she was matter of factly that quad had slept with Carmen. Okay. And, uh, you know, to, to a certain degree, I'm like, if he was in a committed relationship or whatnot, and they were monogamous, and meaning they were in it for the long haul together, and the only people they were going to be sexing was each other. They didn't have no open relationship at this time because they're trying to move forward to something very solidified as in marriage one day. Then Common was dead, blasted wrong. Now, if he's just dating this little woman over here, he ain't put no ring on it. They ain't really had no concrete discussion about them being monogamous then in a sense they free agents they can dip and dab wherever they want to and just depending on when this incident allegedly happened how far in the relationship were they so it's like two different sides you got to look at it because you know some people that you know be going around right here and they want to date other people but yet they still want to date you on the regular too so it just really depends on what type of relationship was going on at the time uh claude and common allegedly was supposed to have been gotten together uh, bumping booties or was this something that recently just happened and common definitely has been in a relationship with this woman and they've been monogamous and they you know, thinking about taking that next step, which is more than likely getting engaged to marriage, okay? Then there's a problem. But I look at it like this. Whatever's done in the dark going to come to light eventually. It may be at an opportune time. Then again, it may be just, ooh, child, like a thunderstorm coming in, bringing that tornado. All right? It's going to tear stuff up and leave no remnants of anything of relationship after the fact. Okay, so I'm like, come and come and come and come and come. Don't blame Quad. Blame yourself because you the one did the deed. Even though both of y'all were together, but Quad ain't got, you know, I mean, y'all grown and y'all were both consenting adults. Quad ain't had nobody. She ain't had no significant other, but you had somebody. Okay, you had somebody in the wings, honey. So if anybody going to get mad, why don't they just take the blame out on you solely, okay? But anyway, going and getting back to the story, it says, um, Heavenly would go on to clarify that she was just joking, but that didn't stop Quar from calling her out in a statement to BET. All right, and see, that's why, that why I really feel that it must have been some truth to it, because if it wasn't true, and Dr. Heavenly did say that she was just joking on that particular episode that it aired out um, and, and uh, Quad allegedly had got together, whatever. She said she was joking. With Quad bringing so much other attention to this scenario or the situation, it's making people really think that, yeah, something happening and you're trying to do some major damage control instead of just letting it fly under the weather. Uh, flying under the radar and just be like, well, should we really believe what Dr. Heaven said? Because she just be in her own world. She just be flying by the seat of her own pants. She just be saying anything, okay? And then she'll come back. We think that she correct and, and it's true. She come back saying, no, nah, it ain't true. I just lied. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But to really put it out there that somebody slept with somebody, you know, I think it was just a slip of the tongue. And I really feel that, yeah, come and did some infringement for the negative, And he shouldn't have. And then he probably called a quad, say, handle it, do damage control. Because right now, I'm not looking good. And I don't feel like losing my lady over, the, you know, a one-night stand that we both was just hooking up for that time. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Heavenly did publicly and privately apologize to Quad, but Quad had more to say on Sister Circle, and she gave Heavenly a warning to stop coming for her in her green screen interviews and with her jokes. Quad said, so I picked up the phone and I called her and I said, hey now, I see you're taking shots at me. I'm telling you 
Wait a minute. I'm going to tell y'all something. You're saying we're friends. I can't keep uh, letting it slide, she added. We'll be all right. We'll be just fine. But when I play with a person, I'm not going to hide behind I'm playing or I'm joking. I'm going to let you know this is real. It's a barrage when I shoot at you. Okay. And let me see. Does it go on to something else? Let's see. My phone moving slow, y'all. It should be moving slow. Okay. I think it went back to the one. So let's go back over some things we did uh, miss. It said Married to Medicine Star. Quad Webb recently called out Dr. Heaven Kleins in a statement. Quad was furious that Heavenly accused her of sleeping with Common. The accusations was made while the cast was in Cabo. Heavenly would later say that she was just joking on her after show. However, Quad felt like some things shouldn't be joked about. And since Common recently appeared on Sister Circle, the accusations wasn't a good look for Quad professionally. Then it says, although Heavenly had publicly apologized, Quad had more to say on Sister Circle, and she gave Heavenly a warning. So, and that was the part that I had picked up. I had started off with and start, instead of starting off uh, with the first section of it. But yeah, honey, Quad sitting up here getting uh, mad, and uh, Amanda Anderson Niles. Uh, she's a journalist, a correspondent over there. She wrote the particular article titled Married to Medicine Star Quad Webb Gives Dr. Heavenly Kinds a Warning. And I'm like, Quad, sit yourself down. Talking about you going to give somebody a warning. Hell, all of y'all are on reality shows. We don't know what's really going on. And S Sister Circle is something of a really trending topic, hot topic type of reality show in a sense, too. Y'all talking about people. In situations that are out there in them streets of Atlanta and all over the global world. You're having guests come in, celebrity guests, and they're telling you about what they're doing in their world at the time. And if they're doing any philanthropy types uh, issues or situations that they're getting together for the public, doing that uh, philanthropy philanthropy type work charity work and you know what's going on what's being said negatively about them and they want to come and set the story straight on your platform so i'm like quad sit down somewhere that's just a hot topic for you right now and you're trending so that's a good thing but how you keep going on and on and on and trying to spin a narrative that dr heavenly is really dragging you for filth and damaging your reputation hell you on a reality show married to medicine okay and you're not a doctor you divorced from a doctor which you say is a good thing hopefully it is a good thing okay but then you on sister circle which is another reality show in a sense that gears to talking about people and trying to find the truth out of the lies and speculations and in the windows that are being brought on them and of course you letting them use your platform to come and talk about what they're doing if they're in the entertainment industry what they're doing now uh what are they working on now so are we going to be able to see anything in the future? You know, is, is Common working on new music material? Is he acting now still? Or does he have a love interest in his life, you know? And then you getting all up in a, a, a tantrum or rage, you know, because this negative story that you say is not true is by you and Naz right now, okay, for the negative. But if it's not true, honey, I would just been like playing with that story like, Common, you know, you coming over tonight, babe? <laughs> <laughs> should i cook xyz for you you know and it's turning like that and we like nah i can't do that you know i'm you know with somebody you know what i'm saying what would she think about it i forgot the latest name he's supposed to be messing with it's an alicia or something like that but it doesn't really matter it's neither here nor there but i'm like quad stop trying to bring more attention to a subject you want to just have disappear it's gonna stop being talked about it's going to take a while. It'll probably be over by next week, my Lord. But with you keep going back and forth in social media, sitting on a, a, a wildly platform that people watch, millions of people watch, Sister Circle, 
I, I don't watch it too much. But when I'm at home, if I'm at home at the time and I have the time to just, you know, what do you call it? Um, surf the television or surf, you know, um, well, I guess it's, it's surfing the television to see what's on, what's being broadcast uh, that can occupy my time since I don't have anything to do. But I really have not. I really have any time to do just little things that I want to do uh, because that's just how my life is set up right now. But I'm like, well, oh, sit your butt down somewhere. And you're lucky to have a platform where you can go in and just talk about people all day. Okay. And then you go film or y'all really have wrapped up filming for um, Married to Medicine. So y'all and y'all review, I'm not review, y'all and y'all reunion segment that's coming up short. I don't know if y'all have another episode prior to the reunion, but girl, Get your money and stop worrying about what's true and what's not. I mean, if you know you didn't sleep with them and you don't want to take this little story and make lemonade out of it, that's your business. But you going around here, sitting up here trying to defend yourself every chance you get. You're making yourself look pretty guilty in my eyes and I'm sure a lot of other eyes as well, honey. But that's all I have for this story. But I would like for you all to sit there, get down in the comments. Y'all interact with one another. Speak your mind on the situations. Do you think Quad and Carmen was hitting the booties? <laughs> or was it just fake and fraudulent like Dr. Heaven is trying to say it was? Okay. But, honey, you know how women talk? They do that pillow talk with each other and say, what happened this night or what happened that night? The quad been alone for a minute, okay? And she already said she like a tall chocolate man that fits the bill of Mr. Common, okay? I'm just saying, honey, I'm just allegedly over here, allegedly over here, okay? But that's all I had. And shout outs to UrbanBellMag.com for giving us a nice story to partake of, to sit and talk about. And hey, like I said, it's only for entertainment purposes. Y'all take it for what it's worth. And y'all get down in the comments and tell me what y'all thought about it, okay? Wasn't that salacious? <laughs> Quite uncommon, really? How did they even hook up? Well. Maybe too. Just blame it on the alcohol. Just blame it on the alcohol. All right, guys. See y'all next video. Bye-bye.